We continue with day four action here at the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. Live from Alexandria Sporting Club. In our next encounter, ASPAC, who hail from Benin, looking to pick up their first win against undefeated teams so far, Rwanda Energy Group. For Rwanda Energy, top performer has been WNBA star Tiffany Mitchell. She's averaged 26 points a game, along with nine rebounds and 6.3 assists. On the other end, the scoring has been led by Joseph. In their first two aims, she's averaged 10.5 to go with 5.5 rebounds and four assists. As we get ready to get underway here, it's been exciting action here at the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. Ball up in the air, first position into the hands of REG. Quick take inside. And there's a foul. First free throw is good. Cloudon gets REG on the board first. Makes good on the second perfect trip for Mia Cloudon. ASP bring it the other way, Joseph. Back to the top of the key in the hands of Onyabe. Joseph pulls up the three, hits back iron, rebound, falls to Cloudon. Out in transition, come REG. Oh, fancy move. Couldn't finish the Mitchell. On the inside, Joseph tries to power up. Can't get it to go. Referee says last touch of REG. And so the possession will remain with ASPAC. Miabe gives it up to Nata. Nata, her pass gets stolen. Now, Cloudon, other way. Cloudon won't get it to go. Isomi couldn't hold on to the rebound, but it will stay with REG. Quick inbound pass leads to the easy lay in. Makumiiza gets herself on the board. Joseph, out to Onyabi, Onyabi looking to probe the paint, inside now, Diara, Diara puts up the shot, Diara, first bucket of the game for A's PAC, Cloud and controls, now Kalanga, driving inside, takes it, it's Mitchell in fact, Mitchell, her first bucket, Pass to the baseline, goes up, high post jumper. And Diara, with all four points, plays PAC. Quick take inside, Cloudon adds two more. Ball moving around the perimeter, long shot, that won't go. Rebound to REG. Coming quickly the other way. Mitchell is fouled and REG trying to get out in transition, pick up the pace of the game. Mitchell hits the line for her first trip. Makes the first. 
she has been 91% from the line so far in the competition. Goes two for two this time. Joseph kicks it back to Onyabi. Inside to Diara. Onyabi, ball rotating quickly for ASPC and it's a bucket from Nata, mid-range jump shot. It is back and forth action here. Teams feeling each other out. Mitchell, long shot, that's no good. Rebound stays. Cloudin, baseline drive. Cloudin hesitation, pulled it back and drew the foul on the acceleration. Okimiazi inbounds to Cloudin. Now Mitchell looks to drive from the top of the key. Kicks it out, Cloudon, long shot. Cloudon knocks it down. Good start for Nia Cloudon. Seven points here. Diara, kick out. Another mid range jumper, Nata can't connect this time around. Mitchell gets the handle from Cloudon, knocks down a three. Back-to-back -back distance connections. Joseph. To Nata. Nata finds Diara, middle of the key. It's taken away. Now Mitchell. Drive inside, kick to Cloud, and Cloud and will put up another three. Can't connect on this one. So Babe rebound. Onyabe, through the middle, throws it up, layup won't go. In transition, Mikomiyazi gets another. Nata, with the pass out to Onyabe. Onyabe drives, puts it up over the defender, that won't go. Mitchell with the rebound. Mitchell finds the pass underneath the rim. Couldn't finish. Joseph. Joseph taking it right into the body of Kalanga Kalanga. Sending it out of bounds. We're about halfway through the first quarter. And it's the Rwanda Energy Group who have a 12 point lead. So Babe pulls up the jumper, that's no good. Rebound into the hands of Kalanga. Mitchell makes the pass. Kalanga gets it as a trailer. Kalanga won't make, but she'll head to the line to shoot too. A good free throw shooter is Kalanga, 91%. As well, in the first two games, she knocks down the first. Two for two for Kalanga and REG remain perfect from the charity stripe here in the first. Bonaibe. Out to Abel. Anaibe dumps it inside. Keita from the high post position. Shots no good. Long pass from Mitchell. Mikul Miyazi. He's got to slow it down. Mitchell drives inside. Kicks. Kalanga pull up. Jumper. Front iron. Keita skies in. 
to secure the rebound for A's PAC. Drive inside, pull up, jump up. Oh, and it drops in, shooters roll. And so Bobby gets her first bucket. Clowden gets the pick. Defense goes with the roller. Clowden, time and space to knock it down. So Bobby. Another shot from the high post. Kata connects this time. Her first bucket. It's Tiffany Mitchell with the ball. Mitchell, pull up jumper. Back iron. So Babe, Onyabe, in fact, bringing it quickly down the floor. Makes the pass. Joseph will put it up off the glass. First bucket for Joseph, the leading scorer for A's PAC. Clowden into the pick and roll. Now the drive, Abel. Kalanga can't get her left to go. It was Keita who pulled down that rebound. Out in the corner, long range shot, so Babe can't connect. Kalanga with the rebound. Oh, some fantastic transition play. Mitchell tries to shovel the behind the back pass and it's taken away. Oh, and on the other end, the transition does work. And we will have our first timeout. Out the timeout, it will be REG ball after a quick ASPAC run. They've now brought themselves within eight. Clowden gives it up to Kalanga. And Kumiezi almost has it taken away. Manages to get it to Mitchell. Mitchell drives inside. Strong take by Mitchell. Layup won't go, but there'll be a foul. As Mitchell hits the line again. Mitchell misses on the free throw. Not something we see off happen often. Empty trip at the line for Mitchell. Jump ball off the rebound. And the position error goes the way of ASPAC. Under two minutes left to go here in the opening frame. 
Uniabe. Uniabe tries to make the pass inside. Abel couldn't quite get there. REG making it tough on ASPC in the paint. Cloudon. Pull up jumper. Cloudon can't knock it down. Oh, quick steal. Mitchell intercepts the pass, goes to the bucket, won't go. Frustration on the face of Mitchell. And Aibe dribbles it, pull up, three, knocks it down. Onaibe showing confidence from beyond the arc. Mitchell into the pick and roll. Hand off to Cloudon. Inside now. Kalanga couldn't finish. Onaibe. Baseline drive, kick back out. Mukumi is it. Try to get there. She'll head to the bench now. And it's Philoxy who Checked into the game for Mikomiza. Fans of all ages enjoying the game, taking in the action here at the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. As the referees go to review. Seems the referees have it all cleared up now. Naibe. Now ball to the corner. Inside they go. Ball on the floor. It's a struggle for it. Good effort by Abel. And the foul will go against REG. Maybe. Now Abel. Drive from the top of the key or Naibe. Goes around the defense, gets it to go. She's been fantastic here down the stretch in the first quarter. Clowden gives the pass to the baseline cutting Mitchell. Mitchell whistles for the travel. After being down as many as 14, ASPAC have battled their way back and now are within three. Long jumper to close out the quarter. That one four. And at the end of one, it's REG 22. Ace PAC 19.
REG led by as many as 14 in the first quarter. But an inspired performance by Onwabi to close out the quarter have them, has them within three. Clowden, drives inside, puts it up, Clowden. She moves into double digits, first player to do so. She has 11 points. Ball in the corner, Sobabe. Out to the high post, Keita, her jump shot won't go, follows, gets it, but it's taken away by Mitchell. Now transition for REG. Kloxi found Mitchell, now they find the trailer. Mid-range jumper from Kalanga won't go. Kalanga chases it down. Now Mitchell from beyond the arc connects from her second three-pointer. Unaibe dribbles inside, takes it blocked. Kalanga sends her away, but the ball goes back to ASPAC with a steal. But now it's REG. Jump shot's no good. Unaibe will control it once again for ASPAC. She puts up the three, knocks it down. That's her second connection from deep. Kalanga, long range jumper, rims in and out. The battle for the rebound ends with it staying with REG. Now Cloudon looking to drive inside. Cloudon through the middle, gets the layup off the glass. Unaibe. Inside to Keita. Unaibe gets it right back. Kicks it out, long range shot, way short. Now as Ali checks out the game. Six point lead here for the Rwanda Energy Group. Clowden takes the pick, tries to accelerate to the pain, has it knocked away. Sobabe. Now to Unaibe once again. Unaibe trying to probe here. So Babe now puts it on the floor, dribble, puts it up, it won't go. Rebound stays and turn around jumper from Diara wouldn't fall. Mitchell cleaning it up for REG now. Mitchell gets the foul on the baseline drive. She's going to be heading back to the line. Came in, knocking it down at 91% from the free throw line. She's missed two here, however. Currently sitting at 50%. And two of four. She missed another, but this time knocks it down. Unaibe to inbound. Ball to Sobabe. Sobabe's pass. Almost winds up out of bounds. As she tries to get it into Diara. Baseline inbound. Unaibe. Kicks it out now. Sobabe attacks. On the secondary pull-up jumper. Won't go for Joseph. Mitchell pushing it down the floor. 
Plowden. Into the pick and roll. Strong drive and make. Peloxi gets one to go. Unabe on the inside. Puts up the shot. Another block for Kalanga. Kalanga, a presence in the pace for this REG team. She's averaged just under a block a game. She's got two here. As the foul goes against Nata. That'll be just Nata's first personal. Kalanga hands it off to Cloudon. Cloudon tries to get the pass in, but Diara's right there, picks it off. Long range jumper. Joseph connects from deep. Cloudon gets picked from Kalanga, drives right down the middle of the lane, gets it to go. Cowden. That was a tough take. Onebe tries to make the pass to Joseph. Joseph couldn't get there. And so it'll be turnover number six for ASPAC. Nine point game. Cloudin makes the pass inside. Kalanga couldn't finish. Rebound went the way of Diara. Now Joseph in transition. Joseph attacks Mitchell. Kicks it back out. Joseph. Out to Onaibi. Onaibi creates a space. Pulls up the three. This time can't connect. Mitchell behind the back dribble, almost losing it. On the outlet though, finds Peloxi, who knocks it down from three. After being within three, ASPAC now down 11. Oh, long range. The reply from ASPAC. Clouded. Dribbles inside. Ball to the corner. Another three point shot. Off the side of the rim. But the foul is called, and so it'll be three free throws for Piloxi. Luxie already has seven points. Her first trip to the line, however. Came in as a 76% shooter as we head into the timeout.
Clarkson will be at the line, shooting three free throws at the timeout. Knocks down the first. She's been sensational for REG off the bench. Knocks down the second one more coming up. Makes it three straight. Moves to nine points. Renee In fact, she moves into double digits. She has ten. Inside to Diara. Diara, turn around, jumper. That falls. Diara, another bright spark in the offense for ASPAC. Paloxy, strong drive inside, kick out. Long range shot for short for Cloudon. Joseph. Ali tries from distance. That won't go. And now coming quickly, REG jump shot. Paloxy pulls it out and pulls it up in transition. Gets the two points. Joseph looking to drive, dribble inside. Now in the hands of Ali. He finds Diara. Diara underneath the rim. Off the glass and one. Diara now with eight points. Heading to the charity side. 75% free throw shooter. Misses on that tip. Blocks against the double screen. Creates distance, pulls it up. Three point shot is no good. Referee says last touch REG. And so it'll be white ball. Maybe. Dribbles inside, spins. Bucket won't count. Whistle was on the floor. Ali will inbound for ASPAC. Diara. Turns around, puts it on the floor, almost has it knocked away. But it stays with ASPAC. Now, Onaibe goes right to the rack. That won't go. Rebound. The way of REG. Long jumper and Philoxy knocks down another from distance. She's a fantastic three-point shooter at a clip of 40% in the first two games. Now, Naibe try to find Diara. But a good defensive effort by REG. Baseline drive. And the defense ties it up to Yobe. But stuck between two defenders there. And so it is PAC come up with a stop. Or maybe. Joseph looking to drive, hands it off to Onaibe. Onaibe around the defender, spins. Whistled for the travel, one too many steps that time round. And we'll have a timeout here with one minute and 23 seconds left to go in the second.
123 left in the second quarter, heading into half time, and it's the Rwanda Energy Group who built up a 13 point lead. They've outscored ASPAC 23 to 13 in the quarter. Clowden kicks the outside, long jumper, front iron. Rebound into the hands of Samaku. Samaku takes the shot, dribbles inside, finds Diara on the roll. And Diara now in double digits, she has 10. Blocks the. Round the screen. Drives now, found the roller. Great connection. Mushiki Wabo with the finish of the Paloxi pass. Unaibe goes all the way down the paint, finds Diara at the high post. Diara knocks down another. Paloxi controls. It'll be the final possession of the half here. Paloxi pulls up the three. That won't go. And at the end of the second quarter, end of the first half, it's REG who take an 11-point lead into halftime. It's 47 to the 36 of ASPAC.
الاخضر الميزان الاخضر بيتكلم من الكاميرا مع الكلام الميزان الشرطه الخضراء بتاعت الميزان ايوه ما هو من عندي انا منين انا بتاع قدامك من عندي انا منين البتاع قدامك انا Into the second half of the game we go. It's an 11 point lead for REG. They've been led by Kloxi off the bench. She has 15 points. Cloudon 13. And Tiffany Mitchell has chipped in 11. Three players in double digits. On the other end for ASPAC, it's Diara who has 12. Along with 8 from Onyabe. Baseline drive. Joseph puts it up, it won't go, gets her own rebound. Kick out now, Nata's shot. Hits back eye and Diara on the putback, couldn't get that to go. Three chances and no points on the board for ASPAC. Mitchell tries to get it to Cloud and it's taken away by Joseph. Ball to the corner in the hands of Sababe. 
So Babbitt looking to drive. Unyabe gets the screen from Diara. Puts up the three. That won't go. Rebound into the hands of Nata. And now it was Sobabe who put a one up. Slow to score. Both teams here to open up the second half. Kalanga knocks one down. So Babe gets it back to Sobabe, tries to thread the pass inside, gets it to Nata. Clock clock winding down, Diara puts it on the floor, puts up the jumper, that won't go. Kalanga gets the rebound. Mitchell. Now, Isomi drives right down the lane, gets the bucket and one. First point for Isomi. A 71% free throw shooter. Overall as a team, REG, pretty good free throw shooting team. In their first two games, hit it at 76%. As we see Isomi knock that one down. Joseph on the drive, kicks it out, Sobabe, spin move inside, puts it up, layup won't go. Nata hustles to get the rebound. Joseph drives through the defense, takes contact. And there will be a foul call, Joseph will head to the line. Joseph has not been a great free throw shooter in the competition so far, just 33%. Knocks down the first here. Makes a two of two. Joseph clinical from the line. Bloxy gives it up to Cloudon. Cloudon. From the three-point line, stops, puts it up, knocks it down. Mia Cloudon with her second three. Unaibe. Now Joseph stops and pops. Joseph knocks it down. Biloxi. Double handoff to Mitchell. Mitchell will try it from outside, hits back iron. Great box out and rebound by Nata. Out in transition, Diara blows the layup. And the rebound goes to Cloudon. Pass to the cutter inside. Kalanga knocks it down. Kalanga now with six points in the game. So Babe, by the defense, finds Nata for the easy mid-range jumper. Great setup there for Sobabe. Drew all the defense, and Nata had time and space to knock it down. Clouden. Inside to Kalanga. Kalanga spins through two defenders, gets it to go. That was sensational from Kalanga. So Babe, Joseph now. Joseph gets the pick from Diara. Now So Babe looks to probe. Joseph on the drive. Coughs it up to Mitchell. She goes tumbling to ground now Paloxi. On the other end with a quick lay-in. REG have shown themselves to play really well out of transition.
Onaibe to Diara. Diara on the inside, trying to go by the defense. Kalanga sends her back. Mitchell with the kick out. And Kalanga this time puts it off the glass. She has the last six points for REG. We are halfway through the third quarter here. And REG have extended their lead to 21. On the other end, Nata set up well, manages to finish. Paloxi drives inside, goes right by all the defense. Great read by her. Ball in the corner with Joseph. Joseph puts up the three. No good. And Diara gets fouled as she goes in for the rebound. Substitution for REG. Mukomieza checks back in the game. Referees just conferring with the table. Bit of a delay in play. Seems to be confirming the last bit of action with the table. And we are good to go. Joseph inbounds to Abel. Joseph sizing up Mitchell. Kicks it to the corner. Nata, mid-range jumper's no good. Mitchell rebound. Mitchell calls the pick. Kicks to Paloxi. Now Paloxi on the inside. Long range jumper going full. Last touch. Off the rebound. Goes against Kalanga. And so ASPAC with the ball. REG continue to hold their biggest lead of the game at 21. Baseline drive blocked. Kalanga gives them another possession. Mitchell stops and pops. Mitchell knocks it down. Tiffany Mitchell, now with 14. Onaibe looks to reply, can't. Rebound into the hands of Mitchell. Tough take and five straight points for Mitchell. And the crowd is loving it. She's been putting on a show here, Tiffany Mitchell. Nata puts up another mid-range jumper. In fact, it was Sobabe on that one. Paloxi. Sizing up the defense, attacking the paint. Paloxi gets by, draws the foul. Loxy heads the line. She's been perfect from there so far. Three of three.
makes good on the free throw, moves up to 22 points. Unaibe. To Joseph. Unaibe, top of the key, gets the pick from Keita. Now Sobabe. Back out. Unaibe puts it up, that won't go. Mitchell controls for REG. They try to go inside to Kalanga, but it's taken away. And now in transition, Joseph takes the contact, puts it off the glass. Joseph moving into double digits with 11 points. Loxy. Gets the pick. Biloxi goes downhill, puts it up. That's no good. And off the rebound, there'll be a foul. It'll go against ASPAC. And so possession will remain with the Rwanda Energy Group. It'll be two shots coming up. Pelosi misses the first. That's her first miss from the line today. Empty trip for her at the line after going perfect. Joseph fakes it, drives, gets the defender in the air, gets another foul. Great work by Joseph. And Onaibe. Looks like she'll be heading to the bench before the rest of this quarter. Joseph knocks down the first, makes it two of two. Loxi, dribble handle to Kumayazi. Kumayazi, kick out. Mitchell has it, pulls up the three. This time it's short. And two players from ASPC getting tangled up on the rebound. Abel just bumping into Keita. And so REG will have another possession. Mitchell drives baseline. Mitchell takes contact. The foul goes against Sobabe. Ball inbounded to Piloxi. Drives baseline. Kick out. And the three is good. Irakoze knocks one down from beyond the arc. Drive on the baseline. Ali. Her shot's no good. In fact, it was Dusabe who locked down that last three for REG. She's got her first points in the game. And now a steal from REG. Nkumayazi out in transition. Ball on the weak side, Piloxi. Gives it to Mitchell. Mitchell, pull up, jumper. That's good. Tiffany Mitchell is smooth to watch, a joy to watch play. And we've seen the crowd enjoying her performance here. Joseph. With the clock winding down, 
The shot will not count and after three quarters, it's REG who've pulled away once again. They have a 26 point lead. In fact, 28, they have 78 to the 50 of ASPAC. We are into the fourth and final quarter. Ten more minutes to go here. REG have built up a 28-point lead. As they start with the ball. Nikomiza gives it to Mitchell. Mitchell now drives inside, bumps into her own teammate. Whistled for the travel. She is unhappy with that call. Joseph will bring it up for ASPAC. Abel gives it up, gets it back inside. Abel working in the paint. Can't get it to go with some good footwork. Pity she couldn't finish. Ball to the corner, long range jumper. Won't fall for Irakose. Joseph once again. Gives the ball up, the fake, the drive to Makai. Found Keita on the inside. Keita couldn't go, but on the rebound and put by Keita, relentless. Gets her two points. Other side, the trailer. Irakosi gets the ball, can't knock down the shot. Shows it. So Macau, long range shot, that's no good. Rebound falls to Irakose. Mizerwa. Outside shot. Musabe couldn't connect this time. She hit one earlier in the quarter. Ball on the floor, dribble, long shot. No good, Dusabe. Struggling to recreate the earlier three. Joseph. Oh, and Ali has it taken away as she tries to make her way through the paint. Rakose, pull up, jumper blocked. Nope, it'll be a foul. The foul will go against Joseph. That'll be her third personal. No real foul trouble 
for either team. Irakuze, now at the line. First free throw is no good. Can't knock down the second either. And ASPAC get that rebound. Sumako passes out and Nata goes to the rim but whistled for the travel. Referee explaining there was no dribble before she took the steps. Mitchell. Drives baseline. Mitchell off the glass. Made it look too easy. She now has 20 points in the game. Tiffany Mitchell, she's averaged 26 in the first two games. Diara in the block. Kicks out. Sumako gives it up to Nata. Nata now going inside. Nata couldn't get it to go. Last touch off Mitchell. And so it'll stay with ASPAC. Sumako to inbound. Gets it to Nata, Nata, jump shot won't go. A tussle for the rebound, whistle blows. If we call the jump ball, possession error. Does favor is PAC and so they'll have another chance to chip away at this lead. Mako tries to get it to Diara. Diara doesn't quite get to the pass, but it'll remain. Mitchell hits the bench now. It's Kiombe who checks back in. Diara goes inside, puts up the jumper, and it drops. Mizerwa controlling for REG. Now Irikoza. Into the pick and roll they go. Strong take, Kiyobe. Tries to make her way to the bucket, she's fouled. And Kiyobe with a chance to get her first points. She's played just four and a half minutes so far. The first free throw is good. One of two goes Kiyobe as the second. Gets the rebounds into the hands of Nata. Joseph. Baseline drive. Last touch, REG. As Ali heads to the bench for ASTAC. And it's Sobabe who makes her way back in. Nata. Tries to make the pass to the inbounder. Ill-timed. And so it'll be turnover number 13 for ASPAC. REG ball. Mizerwa 
Pass to the corner. Long range shot. That won't go. Rebound to Diara. On the Abbott, back on the floor. She'll control the offense. To Babe, to Onyabe. Onyabe finds Diara. Top of the key, Diara can't make. In transition, Kamari G. Oh, strong take. Kiyobe gets another to go with a finger roll. Unaibe, Altanata. Cross court pass. Sumako. Tries to find Diara. And it's taken away. REG. Jump shot. In transition from outside. Nikuma Yiza knocks it down and forces the timeout. A's PAC ball at the timeout. They brought the lead down to 22. Unaibe gives it up to Somakau. Somakau looks to drive. Neita picks it up. Neita puts up a shot. That's no good. Diara on the rebound and put back. Diara. Gets another two. Mitchell goes all the way to the bucket all alone. Couldn't finish. Unaibe. Pick from Diara. Pulls it up from three. Way short. She's knocked down two already in the game. Can hit it from there, Unaibe. Nizerwa. Now in the hands of Kiyobe. They go inside, turn around, jump shot drops. Dusabe. Unaibe. Now inside. Around the perimeter, the ball goes, and the three-point shot is good. As Sumakao knocks it down. Trying to attack quickly, Mikumayiza draws the foul. The foul will go against Sumakao. Long range jumper, Kiyobe hits from deep. A 
the other end is PAC in the hands of Unaibe. Nata in the short corner gives it back to Onaibe. Shot clock winding down. So Mako's got to have to put it up. That won't go though. Gets it off in time, but layup's no good. Long jumper on the other end. This time, Kiyobe couldn't connect. Pace of the game slowing down here in the fourth. Ball to the corner, baseline drive. Through the defense. Foul will go against Dusabe. Just her first person. At the line will be Sobabe. She has yet to go to the line. It's her first trip in this game. Not a lot of free throws. She was waiting to shoot the free throws. But referee says it was on the floor, it looks like. No, in fact, it will be shooting now as Sobabe makes her way back to the line. Knocks down the first. An 82% free throw shooter, Sobabe. She goes two for two. She now has 11 points. Mizerwa. Hounded by Onaibe. And it is a jump ball forced by the defense of Hassel of Naibe. Position error. He does return the ball to REG. Nikomiza. Now the drive. Put up with one goal for Mizerwa. On the inside, the gimme, Keita, drops in the bunny. Mizerwa, hassled for Anaibe once again. Pass to the inside. Usabe doing work in the block, kicks it back out. Long jumper, no good for Irakozi. And Keita cleans it up. Joseph to Onaibe, cross court pass now. Sobabe drives baseline, jump shot, that's no good. Sobabe gets her own rebound. On the other end, Joseph finding Sobabe once again, and Sobabe trying to shovel the pass to Joseph. Little bit of chaos here, but it does result in a foul, and so ASPAC earn themselves a trip. It'll be Sobabe at the line shooting too. Sobabe makes the first. Misses the second as Irkoza gets the rebound. Mizerwa. Oh, Mizerwa, pounded by Joseph. Keeps the ball on a string, however. Finds the cutter. Man, what fantastic connection between Mizerwa and Dusabe.
under a minute here to close out the game. And a substitution as Oseni makes her way back onto the floor. And Abel will check out. And with almost no time left on the clock here, it's clear that REG will remain undefeated in Group B. They're at top of the group. While ASPAC will remain at the bottom of the group. They've been winless in the league so far. Long pass, Joseph catches it. So Babe gives it back to Joseph. Joseph looks to drive, kicks to the corner. Shot clock winding down. Joseph puts up a mid-range jumper and it's good. 15 points on the evening for Joseph. Oh, and a three on the other end. The REG bench loving it. Onaibe puts it on the floor, finds inside, and the shot will not go off in time. That'll bring us to the end of the game. The Rwanda Energy Group remain undefeated. They are a perfect 4 0 ASPAC. 4 to 0 and 3. Final score REG 96. ASPAC 65.